Hi everyone, my name is Himan Chaudhary and uh, I'm a third year electrical engineer. So my uh, program abroad was a summer program which was research based at Osaka University and it was about eight weeks long. So my research was engineering specific and uh, it was like based on um, fabricating uh, field effect transistors and using graphene nano ribbons. So it's, it's very technical, but yeah, it was like really cool and I got to learn a lot from the lab and the students in, in my lab. So my program was uh, all in English, but the thing was that none of the students in my lab knew English, but the professor knew English and uh, like they, they could uh, communicate in English, but like it was hard. I had a hard time communicating with them, but it somehow worked out. So it's like going to a, a country abroad and getting research experience from someone who doesn't even speak the same language as you is bizarre, but it was amazing. Travel in Japan is so easy because the railways there are so cheap and so convenient. Like you can literally walk from your house to the station in like five minutes and go to like any station in, in Japan. Like even if it's like nine hours away, like it, it could go from the station closest to your house. When you sign up for this program, this specific program, you like give your preferences. So like my, I gave my preferences as nano electronics and stuff, and they assign you labs. And different students go to different labs, right? So my in my lab, my professor told me to come from ten to six. So I used to be there from ten to six. And during the weekends, I used to get free time. So I used to travel a lot eat good food, uh, it's really good. <laughs> Japanese food is amazing. Um, and I, I got to meet a lot of uh, Japanese people, got to talk to them, got to know their perspectives. My UC EAP buddies over there who, who came from other universities like UC Irvine and UCSD, they were really helpful to me for uh, helpful to me because I didn't know Japanese at all. And I was struggling, like I didn't know how to order food, I didn't know how to travel, but they knew a little bit of Japanese, and once I got there to the at the university, I started taking a Japanese uh, class, learned how to uh, communicate with people, and I got to make a lot of friends and how to order food. I guess. <laughs> Osaka is a pretty beautiful city, and uh, that's one of the castles I visited in Hikone. I don't know if you know Hikone. Hikone is like a city close to a lake uh, and there's a castle over there which which if you go to the top of the castle you can see the entire lake from there and I was told to take a picture in the engineering shirt so that I could prove that I, I was at the program <laughs> so these were my UC EAP buddies who went with me and that was the Himeji castle that's like one of the most popular destinations in Japan so this is one of my friends who is uh, feeding the tears at Nara Park. Nara is like another uh, town where they have a Nara Park and they have this huge uh, Buddhist temple. It's it's beautiful. Also, like we went to trips from uh, with our UC EAP um, program, and we went to a synchrotron center, which is like a cool. Um, it's only there's only three synchrotron centers in the whole world, and we got to see one of them. And there were like people from CERN and uh, like big scientists working over there. It's a huge uh, facility we got to see. I, as an international student here myself, like I always like wondered why do I want to study abroad while I'm studying abroad. But like, <laughs> but but like it it's a total different experience. Once you go there, you you see a different world, you see a different culture. It's it's quite amazing.